welcome all this is lecture number 14 in this lecture we will discuss diagonalization of matrices uh, this is the part one uh, so this particular topic is also in the two lectures uh, in lecture number 14 and lecture number 15 for the diagonalization first study algebraic multiplicity so what is algebraic multiplicity algebraic multiplicity of an eigenvalue is the number of time of repetition of an eigenvalues. It is denoted by mult base a lambda. Means uh, if we have eigenvalues uh, for a certain matrices, then if we have lambda equals to suppose 1, 1, 2, then the multiplicity for lambda equals to 1 is 2 because it is repeated 2 times and the multiplicity for lambda equals to 2 is 1 because it is repeated only one time and the another one is geometric multiplicity so uh, geometric multiplicity of an eigenvalue is the number of linear independent eigenvectors corresponding to eigenvalues means for the same uh, at lambda equals to 1 if two different eigenvector exist then its geometric multiplicity is 2 and if only one eigenvector exists then the geometric multiplicity is 1. Uh, just like uh, the question uh, number 1 of the previous lecture where uh, non-symmetric matrix with repeated roots exist and there x2 and x3 both are the same that is the last two vectors are same so that is the case of uh, single geometric multiplicity for the repeated eigenvalues. It is denoted by mult base G lambda. So, for example, uh, if we have a matrix A equals to minus 2, 2, minus 3, 2, 1, minus 6, minus 1, 2, 0 and let its eigenvectors are, uh, eigenvalues are minus 3, minus 3, 5 and uh, so from here algebraic multiplicity with respect to lambda equals to minus 3 is 2 because it is repeated 2 times and algebraic multiplicity with respect to lambda equals to 5 is 1 because it is only 1 time and eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals to minus 3 on solving we get 0, 3, 2 and 3, 0, 1 so the geometric multiplicity for lambda equals to 3 is 2 and eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals to minus 5 is 1 2 minus 1 so the geometric multiplicity for lambda equals to minus 5 is 1 so uh, these this is the example for the algebraic multiplicity and geometric multiplicity and if both are equal then we can get or we can calculate diagonal diagonal matrix for the given matrix otherwise we cannot calculate now model matrix what is the model matrix a matrix which obtain or formed by the eigenvector called model matrix suppose lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 are the eigenvalues corresponding to eigenvectors x1 x2 x3 then uh, such that x1 is equals to this x2 is equals to this and x3 is equals to this then its model matrix represented by capital P or capital M in some books uh, there is written model matrix is represented by capital P and in some books it is represented by capital M so uh, we are taking P here so P is equals to this is x1 this is x2 and this is x3 all the three columns are representing the uh, three eigen vectors so this matrix is no uh, this matrix is known as model matrix similar matrix matrix a and b are said to be similar if there exists non singular matrix such that a equals to p inverse b2 means p and p inverse both are non singular p is non singular obviously its inverse is also be non singular so uh, matrix A and B are said to be similar if this condition holds, this condition exists. 
डायग्नोलाइजेशन ऑफ ए मैट्रिक्स लेट कैपिटल ए बी ए स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स देन द मैट्रिक्स कैपिटल ए सेट टू बी डायग्नोलाइजेबल इफ इट इज सिमिलर टू ए डायगोनल मैट्रिक्स डी और स्पेक्ट्रल मैट्रिक्स दैट इज देयर एग्जिस्ट एन इनवर्सिबल मैट्रिक्स और नॉर्डन मैट्रिक्स पी सच दैट डी इक्वल्स टू P inverse AP. This is the formula for diagonalization, and this diagonal matrix is also known as spectral matrix. Since similar matrix have the same eigen values, the diagonal element of D are the eigen values of A. So this is the important note for the verification of the diagonal matrix. properties of diagonal matrix number 1 a matrix is diagonalizable if and only if it possesses linearly independent eigen vectors if there is no linearly independent eigen vectors then the matrix cannot be diagonalizable a matrix is diagonalizable if and only if sum of symmetric multiplicity is equal to the order of a sum of the geometric multiplicity is equal to the order of a number 3 if all the eigen values of a matrix are distinct then matrix can be diagonalizable not conversely if all the entries of a are equal then a is diagonalizable sari entry equal hai to aap तब भी उसको डायग्नोलाइज कर सकते हैं एवरी आइड इंपोर्टेंट मैट्रिक्स कैन बी डायग्नोलाइजेबल एवरी इनवोल्यूट्री मैट्रिक्स कैन ऑल्सो बी डायग्नोलाइजेबल एवरी रियल सिमेट्रिक मैट्रिक्स कैन बी डायग्नोलाइजेबल एवरी हर्मिशियन मैट्रिक्स कैन बी डायग्नोलाइजेबल every nilpotent matrix can never be diagonalizable unless it is zero matrix power of a matrix by the method of diagonalization let a be a square matrix d be its diagonal matrix and p and p inverse be its modern matrix and inverse of modern matrix then nth power of a is defined and denoted as a raised to power n is equals to p d raised to power n p inverse so from this formula we can get a raised to power n that is if in a problem we have to find a raised to power 100 then we can use this particular formula to get a raised to power 100 right so example 1 show that the following matrix is not diagonalizable so matrix is 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 3 so first find its eigen value so for this characteristic equation determinant of a minus lambda i is equals to 0 so minus lambda 1 0 0 minus lambda 1 1 minus 3 3 minus lambda equals to 0 so on solving it we get lambda q minus 3 lambda square plus 3 lambda minus 1 is equals to 0 and after that we get lambda equals to 1 1 1 so its algebraic multiplicity is 3 and eigen vector for lambda equals to 1 from a minus 1 i capital x1 is equals to 0 so this will be minus 1 1 0 0 minus 1 1 1 minus 3 2 so on interchanging first r3 and r1 so 1 minus 3 2 0 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 1 0 now make this element as 0 With the help of R3 as R3 plus R1, so this will be minus minus one plus one zero one minus three minus two zero plus two two. So now we can make this R3 also zero. So applying R3 as R3 minus twice of R2, so this will be one minus three two zero minus one one zero zero zero. So the rank of matrix is two and the unknowns are three. So the system of homogeneous linear equation is consistent and infinite number of solution so converting this matrix in the form of uh, 
equations we get x1 minus 3 x2 plus 2 x3 is equal to 0 at equation 1 and minus x2 plus x3 is equal to 0 let equation number 2 so letting x3 is equal to k so that x2 is also k putting x3 and x2 in 1 we get x1 is also k so capital x1 is equal to k k k that is 1 1 1 so here uh, all the roots are repeated all the all the roots are repeated so and uh, uh, this x1 dependent on a single scalar k so the all the remaining two eigen vectors are similar to x1 so from here geometric multiplicity corresponding to eigen value 1 is 1 because only one independent eigen vector exists all the three are same so only one eigen vector exists na and algebraic multiplicity corresponding to eigen value 1 is this is repeated three times so it is 3 since uh, both are unequal geometric multiplicity not equals to algebraic multiplicity so given matrix is not diagonal algebra right so example 2 test the following matrix can be diagonal algebra or not a equals to 2 minus 1 1 minus 1 2 minus 1 1 minus 1 2 so uh, this is symmetric matrix so solution uh, to solve it we have to find the characteristic equation and for it uh, from determinant of a minus lambda equals to 0 or uh, this condition and after solving this particular determinant we get lambda cube minus 6 lambda square plus 9 lambda minus 4 equals to 0 this is a cubic equation in lambda so on solving we get lambda equals to 1 1 4 so the roots are repeated and the matrix is symmetric so from here algebraic multiplicity corresponding to lambda equals to 1 is 2 because it is repeated 2 times and uh, corresponding to 4 is 1 so uh, algebraic multiplicity we get uh, in this particular manner so we can write mult a1 is equals to 2 and mult base a4 is equals to 1 so the sum uh, entire algebraic multiplicity is 3 because uh, 4 1 is 2 and 4 4 is 1 so both are added so it is equals to now moving on to the uh, geometric multiplicity so for this we have to find first vector uh, eigen vector so uh, for the eigen vector at lambda equals to 1 from a minus 1 i capital x1 is equals to 0 and when we put 1 then it is 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 so on simplification that is uh, finding the rank with the help of r2 as r2 plus r1 and r3 as r3 minus r1 we get it is equals to 1 minus 1 1 first row and the remaining two rows are equals to 0 so uh, rank of matrix is 1 and the number of unknowns are 3 so the same case arises system of uh, homogeneous linear equation is consistent and finite number of solution exists and the difference is 2 so we can let 2 scalar here so uh, because we have only one equation x1 minus x2 plus x3 is equals to 0 so letting x3 is equals to k1 and x2 is equals to k2 and putting in 1 we get x1 is equals to k2 minus k1 so from here capital x1 is equals to uh, k2 minus k1 k2 and k1 so from here see uh, there are two scalars in the x1 and uh, this x1 that is the, this vector is for the repeated eigen eigen value 1 so from here we can get multiple number of eigen vectors so if k1 equals to 1 and k2 equals to 2 then capital x1 is equals to 1 to 1 but the matrix is symmetric and the roots are repeated so we can use the orthogonal property so letting um, with the same manner uh, as uh, discussed in the previous lecture we can take x2 as minus k 0 k so it will be minus 1 0 1 so from here we have two different eigenvectors for the repeated eigenvalues 
so the geometric multiplicity corresponding to eigen value lambda 1 and 4 are uh, 1 no, 2 and 1 because for the lambda equals to 4 there is a separate eigen vector so no need to find here from uh, uh, for lambda equals to 4 we can directly write uh, multiplicity uh, mult base g1 is equals to 2 and for 4 is 1 so the entire the combined geometric multiplicity is 3 2 plus 1 is 3 so from here geometric multiplicity is equals to algebraic multiplicity so here we can calculate diagonal di diagonal matrix for the uh, given matrix that is the given matrix can be diagonalizable hope you understand this entire phenomena how to find whether the given matrix is diagonalizable or not directly without solving so this is the entire phenomena uh, now the uh, diagonal matrix the concept of diagonal matrix that is how to make a diagonal matrix the entire concept will be discussed in the next lecture hope you enjoyed this particular lecture thank you